DNA is the genetic material passed on from parent to offspring. You may have heard it called different names such as chromosomes or chromatin and all these names refer to different forms of DNA that are found within the nucleus made from packing the DNA into stable structures. The entire process of packing DNA into its forms is called supercoiling because it involves DNA being coiled multiple times. So it all starts with DNA itself, and DNA can refer to genetic material in general, but in this case, it more specifically refers to the double helix strand of DNA made from base pairs, shown here. So this DNA strand is first wrapped around histones, which are these specialized proteins um, that help stabilize DNA structure. So eight histones form a core around which the DNA can wind itself. And once the DNA is tightly wound around these histones, it forms a structure called a nucleosome. You can sort of think of nucleosomes as pearls strung on a string. So once the nucleosome beads are properly formed, it's coiled again. You can think of threads that are twisted and coiled into a thicker rope. So the string of nucleosomes are twisted and coiled into a thicker thread called chromatin fibers. And chromatin fibers are the form of DNA that you will see when you look at um, through a microscope at the nucleus during interphase. The chromatin fibers will sit within the nucleus in this sort of condensed sphere-like structure, um, and the sphere is called the nucleolus. So when the DNA is divided during mitosis, it's packed further. Remember we said that during mitosis, the DNA is condensed into chromosomes. The chromatin fibers are coiled yet again, so they can be efficiently packed into these chromosomes. And the chromosome would be this entire structure in this box. A chromosome is formed from two sister chromatids. Remember that they only form after the DNA has been replicated, so each sister chromatid is one set of DNA, replicated DNA from the original DNA, so both sister chromatids are genetically identical and attached at the center by the centromere. You can see the advantage of condensing DNA into chromosomes during division because it's a lot easier to um, avoid mistakes when you only have to split the DNA at one central point. Humans have 46 chromosomes, more commonly referred to as 23 pairs of chromosomes. So during mitosis, you see all 23 pairs of chromosomes, each with their two sister chromatids. At the end of mitosis, the DNA is successfully divided into its two sets of chromosomes, and the chromosomes immediately begin to unravel and revert back to chromatin fibers to form their nucleoli. So to quickly recap, base pairs form DNA double helix. The DNA double helix is then wrapped around histones to form nucleosomes. The nucleosomes coil around each other to form chromatin fibers, and the chromatin fibers are what you see during interphase in the form of a condensed sphere called the nucleolus. During mitosis, the chromatin fibers are furthermore condensed into chromosomes, which each have two sister chromatids attached by a centromere. Once mitosis, occurs and the chromatids are separated from um, within each chromosome, the chromosomes unravel and revert back to chromatin fibers to form nucleoli once again.